Jamaica will begin testing its climate predictive system in June. That's the word from Minister of Housing, Urban Renewal, Environment and Climate Change, Pernell Charles Jr. He made the announcement during his contribution to the sectoral debate this week. Minister Charles Jr. says the system will enable decision makers to assess climate risk to Jamaica's infrastructural works, economic and social structure. Jamaica leads the world by becoming the first country in the world to begin the process of developing a predictive climate risk assessment planning tool for major infrastructure areas under the global private sector led coalition for climate resilient investment. Madam Speaker, this tool will enable us as decision makers to assess climate risk to Jamaica's infrastructure networks, to visualize hotspots of high levels of economic and social value at risk in relevant times. Um, and Madam Speaker, we will begin testing this tool in June 2021. He says strengthening climate resilience and environmental health is a priority, noting Jamaica's work under the global private sector-led Coalition for Climate Resilience Investment Initiative. As we tackle the multiple pandemics of COVID-19, crime, and climate change, this government considers this moment not just a time of crisis, but an opportunity for us as a nation to rise up stronger and smarter. It is an opportunity to redefine our approach to the provision of shelter solutions by providing accessible, affordable, and climate resilient housing, to reinvigorate our urban centers in order to enhance economic viability and environmental sustainability, to restore the environment, and to reduce the impacts of climate change so all Jamaicans can realize a better quality of life. He mentions progress on the Green Economy Investment Strategy for Jamaica, which will be finalized shortly. In this financial year, we will finalize the Green Economy Investment Strategy for Jamaica. I know that Minister Shaw will be happy to hear that. This will promote green investments as a crucial element of the post-COVID-19 recovery. We'll be advancing the biosafety policy for Jamaica, geared, toward, geared towards any potential risk to human health and environment from development, transboundary movement, handling and use of living modified organism. Also nearing completion is the National Policy for Environmentally Sound Management of Hazardous Water, which is aimed at reducing the deleterious effects of hazardous wastes on human health and the environment. For the News on PBCJ, I'm Simone Absalom-Gale.